Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Are you having problems getting a hospital appointment? Are you tired of being at the mercy of those never-ending waiting lists? Do you feel powerless? It's time to take the control back. Take part in the family heart raffle and play the odds. A single ticket is your chance to win a mystery medical service. Anything from a dental appointment to a knee transplant. Don't miss the opportunity. For only $9.99, I want a visit to the pediatrician. Fingers crossed for a prostate exam. A heart transplant? Here I go. Don't wait. Buy a ticket to the family heart raffle today. Selling your winning ticket is illegal and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Have a seat, Robo. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? That is not something a machine needs. So that's how you view yourself in this context. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it.
Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? I do not know. Don't worry. You're not alone on this. I am here to help you figure it out. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. I don't know. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you got a high school diploma. Hey. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the... They lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later. Partner. Murphy, in my office. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, Mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker 
but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. We're losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled the hamstrings because of them. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing, you know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often, and with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me, so I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. You did not pull the trigger. The people responsible have paid for it. I know. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time, and why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard. But the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk. But it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. 
You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I served this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not see Delta City rise. But don't you worry. I promise it will happen. Mother, why aren't you saying anything? Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God, I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? It was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that death isn't the end. You a walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you, can't I? Thank you. Son. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Perfect. Oh, good news. Leave now. We need to get him ready for the transfer. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to signing deals as if nothing happened. of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me, we need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us. Doesn't she deserve better? 
A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. intentions become clear? Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to his new Provide robots. My jurisdiction. UEDs? They're already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you.
and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that the end of the time with you? Well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement. knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more.
continue to fight. What just happened? Becker! Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, Robocop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five years. I meant years. Robocop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control, and until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, Robocop. And you better keep an eye on that remote.